Hello statisticians and welcome to section 8.2 Excel video on confidence intervals for a population mean when the standard deviation of the population is unknown. It turns out what we saw in our prior video on 8.1 where we know the population standard deviation and we're estimating the population mean is actually a rare occurrence. More often we just have a sample and we know what that sample's mean and standard deviation is but we don't know the population standard deviation. So we have to use a different distribution. We cannot use the normal distribution, instead we will use the t distribution. So we will adjust our Excel commands to ask for the t distribution as we answer the same question. The command is equals confidence dot t open a parenthesis alpha, that's the percent left over from the confidence level, comma, the standard deviation of the sample, because we don't know the population, comma, the sample size. If we want to get the critical value that's used in the calculation of the confidence interval, we'll say equals t dot inv for inverse, dot 2t for two tails, and open a parenthesis. Then we'll type in the alpha, which is the percent left over after the confidence percent, comma, the degrees of freedom. Let's take a look at what this looks like with an example. We have a sample of 236 teens, and on that sample, the average text messages sent in a day is 48.2, with a standard deviation of 14.3. Notice that standard deviation is talking about the sample of 236 teens. It is not talking about a larger population. Because we don't know the population standard deviation, we have to use the t-distribution in all of our calculations. For the critical value, we can say equals t dot i and v for inverse, dot 2t for two tails, open a parenthesis. If we want a 90% confidence interval, the alpha is 10%, or 0.10, comma, the degrees of freedom. You will recall from the other videos in the text about this section that the degrees of freedom are one less than the sample size. So if there's 236 teens, the degrees of freedom is 235. Close the parentheses and hit enter, and our critical value is 1.651364. To calculate the margin of error, since we don't know the population standard deviation, we'll say equals confidence dot t for t distribution open a parenthesis, we want a 90% confidence interval, so alpha is 10%, point 0.10, comma, the standard deviation of the sample is 14.3, comma, the sample size is 236. Close the parenthesis, and when we hit enter, we find out that our sample mean of 48.2 probably has an error in it as much as 1.5371. So to calculate our lower and upper bound, we'll just subtract and add that error to the mean we found from our sample. We can say equals 48.2 minus the error, which I'll just select, enter. And for the upper bound, we can say equals the mean 48.2 plus the error, which again, I can just select. This gives us our lower and upper bound for the number of text messages sent in a day by the average teenager. The interpretation is where we give those lower and upper bounds context and meaning. We can say that we are 90% confident that the average number of text messages sent in a day is between 46.66283 and 49.737117. So whenever we don't know the population standard deviation and we just have information about the sample, which is a more common situation, we are going to adjust by using the t-distribution with the correct number of degrees of freedom.